What's up guys, it's Matt, the overall bargain hunter here. This is your first time checking out my channel. I got the thrift stores, garage sales, retail stores, flea markets. I see what I can find and flip for a profit and I bring you guys along for the journey. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and check out some of my other videos. In today's video, I'm gonna be going to Walmart to see if I can find some good clearance deals that I can flip for a profit. So I ended up getting a $120 Walmart gift card for $60, half the price. So I'm gonna see what I can turn that $60 in. I've already doubled it to 120. Now let's go to the Walmarts and see what kind of clearance deals I can find. This will probably be a little bit of a series video because I probably won't spend that whole gift card the first couple of trips. But let's check out the first couple of trips and see what I find. Made it to the first Walmart here. It's pretty early, but let's see what we can find. So they have a lot of Easter clearance. They have it for 50% and they have some different games and stuff. So I'm gonna see what I can find that looks like I can be able to flip. There's a lot more clearance here. There's some different things that look like I could do something with. There's some Black Panther two pack of magnets that are $1.50. I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of those. They had some Buzz Lightyear stuff, but it was more like coasters and then some chalk and different stuff like that. I didn't get any of those, but there was something that looks like I could sell at my booth, but not something that I was willing to buy at this time. I saw these spray paints and I was a little bit interested in them, but they were still $4.74, which is really only like 50 cents to a dollar cheaper than they normally are. So I went ahead and passed on those. And then the next thing that caught my eye was some of this 75% off Easter stuff, because some of this stuff is just little toys that I could put out for a dollar at my booth. So I went ahead and went through this section to see what all I could find at that 75% off. Right. I did go to another clearance section in the electronics, which had a bunch of different stuff. Most of it was still a little bit higher price that I wouldn't be able to make money on. I thought about these little like mystery ball egg things. They were $6 and you get nine of them. So I thought, well, if I sell them for a dollar a piece, but ultimately I decided not to get any of those. These walkie talkies I had seen on a secret clearance deal where they ring up for $13. So I went ahead and got a pair of those. All right, the next Walmart I checked out, the clearance section didn't have as much as that first Walmart I went to. I saw this Paw Patrol toy and it was clearance to a dollar. So I went ahead and was holding on to that. And I went through the rest of the clearance, just kind of looking at what I could find. This is a Walmart I had already been to already and I got some stuff from it, but I didn't get it on camera. It'll be in the reveal here, but I was going ahead and looking at the other clearance items. They had these Paw Patrol toy cars, but they were $3 each and that's probably what I'd be able to sell them for. So I didn't pick any of those up and then nothing else in the clearance really stood out to me. So I didn't end up picking anything up at this Walmart trip. So the first thing we're gonna look at here, I didn't actually get on camera and I bought two of them. They were $11 each and it comes with five Squishmallows and a little mystery one. I opened one up and that is out at the booth and I've been selling them individually. This one I'm gonna keep packed up and try to sell it online for either 25 or $30. But hopefully this will go well. I've already sold a couple of the individual ones, but we'll see how well the package sells. Right from there, I had seen these on a secret clearance deal where it looks like they're $25, but they ring up at $13. I went ahead and got these. These are not gonna be a resale item, so I won't put it in the breakdown, but I got these for me out at the market. That way I can keep in touch with other vendors or my mom out there. I'm just kind of a sucker for walkie talkies, so I was excited to get these. Most of the other stuff that I got was all small stuff from the clearance aisle. I got these Elmer's glue sticks. They're the bigger glue sticks that go on purple and they were only 10 cents. I only bought five of them, even though there was a bunch there. When I was teaching, these would have really come in handy, but I still use them around the house every now and then for some of the display signs and stuff that I make. So I just went ahead and got them since they were only 10 cents a piece. All right, from there, some other stuff that I got. I got these eight packs of Expo markers. I'll pull up sold comps on eBay. I'll probably try to sell them for about $5, unless I, the sold comps on eBay are better. This is a good deal for an eight pack of Expo markers for only two dollars and i got two packs 
of those. This pack of craft sticks for 75 cents, they're 75 pieces, so they're basically one cent a stick. These are just good for when I'm doing woodwork, they're good for paint stirs, they're good for little shims. There's a lot of things I can use these for, so these again are just a little personal item. These two bead packs are for ornament kits, but I'm gonna put them in a dollar bin out at my booth, so they're only 25 cents a piece, so I can make four times my money on these. This is another thing that's gonna go into my dollar booth. It's like a big uh, airplane. It's technically an Easter one, but that doesn't really matter. It was only 25 cents, so selling it for a dollar will be four times the money. These Wakanda Forever Black Panther magnets, they're two packs, they were a dollar 50. I'm gonna put them in my, on my $3 spot so I can double my money on those. These little LOL surprise, I didn't really pay attention and notice that they were milk chocolate. So these are probably not something that I'll take out to the booth. I might just end up giving these to one of the nieces and nephews, but they were only 50 cents, so it was worth it. These are little in the park scavenger hunt games. I'll probably sell them for the $3 or two for five. I paid 49 cents a piece and I bought two of them. The last thing that I got here were these splat balls. They're clearance down to a dollar. I'll put them on my $3 or two for five board and hopefully these will sell well. So that's what I was able to find at the two Walmarts closest to me. I haven't had time to go to some other Walmarts across town and look there. I do want to look at the Facebook group that my mom has on her phone because that's the secret clearance. And a lot of times those secret clearance things are things that I can sell well online. These little things are just going to be out at the booth. But already from that $120, I still have over $75 left on that gift card. So I know that I'm gonna to continue to make money. I invested $60 into this, so I know I'm gonna make more than 60. I'm excited to see how much I'm able to make. Hopefully with some of those secret clearance items, I'll be able to make even more. There'll be another one of these videos, hopefully down the line. It might be next week, might be a couple weeks from now, we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're not already, make sure you follow my Instagram. That's how you can keep up with what's sold. There'll be a link in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's the way we grow the channel. As always, you guys are awesome and I appreciate your support. This is Matt, the Overall Bargain Hunter, signing out. See you guys next time.